Okay, Poyo, this is it. I need you to be very quiet. A procedure like this is very delicate. It requires one to be very, very careful. Maybe if I hit it with the screwdriver instead. Why don't you just do what Superboy Prime did and punch the wall? Oh, I tried that already, Poyo. I ended up hitting a wall for like half an hour. And the only thing I got out of it was that Donna Troy got a new origin and Dr. Insano became a guy. Um, Dr. Insano was always a guy. Yeah, just keep telling yourself that. Uh, there's gotta be some solution to this. I, I can't think in this silence. Put out a movie or something. What movie do you want? I don't know. Surprise me. How about Clones of Bruce Lee? Hmm, clones of Bruce Lee. Clones of Bruce Lee. Clones. I met you on a Thursday. Check it out! I'm back in my new place and I'm ready to rock. Special shout out to Linkara for doing such a great job in cloning me, even if he did have to fill in some of the damaged genetic gaps with DNA from a monkey. But speaking of uh, clones and flinging my own crap, today I'm here to talk about the worst movie about cloning that I've ever seen. No, no, no this is way worse. Okay, that was pretty bad, but this one is even worse, believe me. And even more shocking, it's, it's a Bruce Lee movie. Kind of hard to believe, isn't it? I mean, has Bruce Lee ever made a bad movie? Well, no, he hasn't. But somehow there are still a ton of bad Bruce Lee movies. Okay, I'll try to explain. Bruce Lee is probably the most well-known action star in movie history. He's one of the toughest, quickest, and most athletic dudes ever to punch a guy in the soul. This is probably the single greatest moment I've ever seen in any action movie, and to me it pretty much wraps up Bruce Lee in one single punch. Bruce basically punches this guy so fast and so hard it liquefies his solar plexus and kills him instantly. Now with anybody else, you might have thought this is ridiculous, but with Bruce Lee you bought it because he was the one man badass enough to kill a man with one punch and nobody, past, present, or future, could ever hope to replace him. But that didn't stop some people. Even though the world was stunned by Lee's untimely death, there were still some savvy B-movie companies out there that attempted to cash in on the tragedy by creating their own little brand of knockoff entertainment that directly copied the Bruce Lee template. And I do mean copy. It spawned a plethora of Bruce Lee lookalikes and gave birth to a weird little cinematic subculture known as Bruceploitation. There were a ton of kung fu movies made following Lee's death, using impersonators to cash in on Bruce's popularity and the sudden resurgence of interest in him after his death. A few of these movies didn't even really bother to have fake Bruce's. They just used the name and the title, like Bruce Lee Fights Back from the Grave, which opens with a scene of Bruce's grave being struck by lightning, Bruce leaping out of the coffin... And that's it. The rest of the movie has nothing to do with Bruce Lee coming back to life. The rest of it is a completely different story. And beyond the first 30 seconds, the title, the poster, and the entire Bruce Lee premise is a total lie. It was really embarrassing to watch the depths to which people would sink to rip off Bruce's name to sell their own shitty movies. But then someone had the most brilliant idea ever. Why stop at copying Bruce Lee once? Let's copy him, uh, four times. You know, with cloning. So they did, and here it is, The Clones of Bruce Lee, an almost impossible movie to find unless you know some especially deranged Hong Kong bootleggers. And I do. It's directed by Nobody and stars Dragon Lee, Bruce Lei, Bruce Lai, Bruce Tai, and John? 
Jeez, I haven't seen this many impersonators since 3,000 Miles to Graceland, and actually, I'm still on the fence which of these movies is worse. It's Bruce Lee. They're waiting to murder the actor. Aaron. And how? The movie opens with Bruce Lee being rushed to a hospital where he dies shortly thereafter of a cerebral edema. Bruce Lee, the world-famous film star, died last night of a sudden heart attack. Oh, I'm sorry, a uh, heart attack uncomfortable yet? Anyway, a British intelligence agent is quick to arrive on the scene with a daring plan. Couldn't you be a little more explicit? I'm afraid not, sir. You see, it's a matter of security. Uh, highly confidential. I see. I am allowed to tell you this much. It concerns Bruce Lee. The film star? Yes, sir. No, the golfer. Yes, I mean the film star, you idiot! Hmm. The clones of Bruce Lee. What a scientific achievement this will be. Three of them, eh, Professor? Do you really think you can do it? I saw your coupon in the paper. Yeah, like t-shirts, uh, clones are cheaper when you get them in bulk. Doctor, uh, how long has he been dead? Uh, not long. Twenty minutes. Uh, g give or take. Uh, crap, I knew we forgot something. Hey, did anyone get his time of death? They figure if they can get some of Bruce's blood, they can create clones of him and have the clones form a team of super spies that fight international crime. That's fucking brilliant! Now that's science, guys. You don't just clone Bruce Lee once, you clone him a shitload of times, and then you send them all out to go kill people. And that's exactly what happens. Doctor, may I trouble you for an empty syringe? Yes. Hey, uh, should we get the permission of his next of kin? Ah, fuck it. With nothing more than one syringe full of blood, the scientist goes back to his lab and together with his two foxy nurse assistants, goes about the mind-bendingly complex That's task fine. of creating yeah, the world's first down. viable, perfect clone of another human being. And judging from the lighting, he's doing it inside a disco. gotta be hard to recombine DNA strands when your only source of light is the nearby mirror ball. Well, the whole scheme is wildly successful, although I have my suspicions that the brilliant scientist who suggested this plan might not have the most noble of intentions at heart. Uh, the professor, huh? Nancy, I really don't trust that man. Really? Why? <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> ah, you're just imagining things. The scientist creates three Bruce Lee clones, making all sorts of discoveries about human cloning in the process. For one, you can make a fully grown adult clone of a human being in about ten minutes like you're working a creepy crawler maker. And two, that clone will emerge with all of the memory, experience, and martial arts skills of the original, because Bruce Lee is so hardcore that kicking ass is coded into his DNA. And of course, physically they're virtually indistinguishable from the real thing. But he runs into a problem. You can call one guy Bruce Lee, but what the hell do you call the other Bruce Lees? Mr. Colin, I'd like you to be Bruce Lee 2 and Bruce Lee 3. Mm, hello. Bruce Lee 2 and Bruce Lee 3. Oh, oh, what in the hell else are you going to call him? I, you know, I, I would have spent hours agonizing over that decision, but I guess it's at least easy to remember. Good night, Bruce! Oh, hello, Bruce! How are you, Bruce? Big crook, Bruce. Where's Bruce? It's not here, Bruce. Blimey, it's not in here, Bruce. It's hot enough to boil a monkey's bum. Anyway, the first order of business is to put the clones into the brain scrambler and hypnotize them all into total blind loyalty, because we wouldn't want three Bruce Lee clones being subverted by some other evil mad scientist, now do we? We just gotta take precautions, that's all I'm saying. Ah, good. <laughs> you may place the head plate on him now. Yes, sir. Did I say head plate? I meant salad bowl. Alrighty. The clones' snark levels are at 98%. Now I'll just upload some Final Fantasy 8 hate. Final Fantasy 8 hate. Uh, kill me. And uh, let's include just a little something extra. Revolution of the Mask is the greatest comic ever made. Buy it now. Yes, Revolution of the Mask is the greatest comic ever made. Anyway, once the clones are properly brainwashed by wearing a stainless steel colander fitted with antennas, they're sent through a strenuous training regimen to get them ready to be international super spies. Begin the Rocky training montage. <laughs> No, really, I'm not joking. They steal the music from Rocky. 